Welcome, Waffle Waffettes. We are back with the brilliant Bug Snacks on the PlayStation 5. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in a previous video, we started helping Triffany explore some of the ruins. And we also discovered that Triffany is having a few issues with asking people for help. And she is preferring to do everything herself at the moment. And because of that, she wasn't able to actually finish exploring one of the ruins. So that's something we're going to have to help her with later on in this game. And then we also started helping Shelda with stuff involving Mother Natural, the uh, religion that Shelda has been following. So we've been trying to find out some information about Mother Natural or whatever her name is. So that's what we did in the previous video. So now we need to meet up with Shelda and she wants to check something out at a crater. So let's get straight into things. I think this might be when, yeah, I think this might be the bit where we need to start searching for some eggs. So if you've been doing this, uh, if you've been doing this mission off camera, you might have had a bit of trouble finding these eggs because some of them are very well hidden. Well, two of them you are easy to find, that one over there and another one. But there's a third one that you might have had a bit of trouble finding. You might still be having trouble finding it and I will show you where it is. It's a bloody nightmare. Don't you look down at me like that, Shelder. How dare you? You're no better than me, Shelda. Look how she's looking at me. What are we looking for? Yes, this is the place. In the stories, they call this island Broken Two. So the story goes, the toxin's influence grew so great and powerful that the sun itself went dark. And so Mother Nature unleashed her wrath on her errant followers, purging the toxin and sending everything to the depths of the ocean. So she punished all of the grumpuses for eating bug snacks, basically. This crater is mother, mo the mother's wrath? I'm sensing a butt. Looks a lot like wrath to me. But that story never sat right with me. Destroying followers who stray? That isn't the mother I know. She's mm. not the bringer of bug snacks either. The ancients can't even get their story straight. So what am I supposed to believe? If I can't rely on the wisdom of those past, then all that's left is my own experience. I need to meditate. Child, if you would do me a kindness. You see that egg, Lachelle? I need you to crack open three of them. This time, it's not a metaphor. <laughs> oh yeah, we had to uh, break open a few eggs for her when we first met her back in the desert in the main story. She wanted me to go and crack open a bunch of eggs and she was being all weird and cryptic. <laughs> all right, let's crack open some bloody eggs then. But to crack open the eggs, because they're giant, because this is an island of everything being giant, you've got to put it in this little egg cup over here. And then the uh, grumpus with the bloody spoon will crack it open. Can I pull it from over here? Oh, sweet! Lovely. I don't recommend you capture any of those yet because uh, I think it might help you to catch this guy. This Tikka Masala guy. Because I think he hates eggs. Yeah, he hates eggs including Egg Bell. <laughs> and loves hot sauce. So basically, when we tr I think we might need to catch this guy at some point. So we're going to need to try and... I guess we're going to have to cover one of those frosty guys in hot sauce and then he'll go over to the frosty guy it will extinguish him and then we will be able to shrink him and capture him all right that's what we're going to need to do then because i think we need to capture that guy at some point maybe even for shelter okay so that's where the first egg is i think the second egg if i remember correctly is up here this uh maze door actually confused me for a bit because i wasn't too sure what i needed to do but it turns out that you actually need to get the choco ant to pick up your buggy ball so that you're able to finish the puzzle. Which obviously confused the hell out of me because normally you're supposed to avoid the choco ant. <laughs> okay. Let's wait for this little devil to come back over. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I knew I'd miss. I knew I did it a bit too soon. Don't you start pushing me, Bunga. We 
There we go. Just be careful you don't walk backwards too much because uh, you'll end up falling off the edge of the cliff. So I think we have to come up here and I think the Choco Ant carries me around. Because normally it spits you out. Yeah, because I think you need to be quick. Oh yeah, there we go. Lovely. Easy peasy. And this is where the second egg should be. There you go. Beautiful. Now we need to yank this bad boy all the way back over to the... Uh, make sure you don't set yourself on fire. Because then you set the egg on fire and it takes forever to extinguish and then you can't bloody push it. <laughs> Do I have to use my... There we go. Lovely. Right. Which way do we take this bad boy? I think we can go this way, can't we? What's going on with this bloody egg? Why is it why is it rolling the wrong way? Come on. There we go. It's probably quicker to just do this, ain't it? Yep, probably much quicker. I don't know if we have to watch out for that that chicken tikka masala looking thing. I don't know if it's going to grab the egg or anything because it doesn't like eggs. You're out, shoulder. Doesn't look like you're doing much meditating. You're not even sitting down. Oh look, you're taking a, bit of the, taking a bit of shell with him, ain't it? Oh, that's just how they look. Oh, okay. So we've now got two of these things flying around. You need to also collect every single bug snack on, the, uh, on this island if you want to unlock all of the furniture pieces for your house. So even if it's not story related, make sure you catch all of these uh, bug snacks anyway. Plus it's just fun to capture them anyway. Right, I think the third egg, this is the one that took me a good 30 minutes to bloody find. <laughs> But I think it's um, that spider. I think one of the sp spiders have it, I think, maybe. Where is it then? Was it around here somewhere? Yeah, I, when, when I was looking for the egg, that spider was holding it. Oh, so where is it then? Unless I accidentally bumped into it somewhere and then the spider picked it up. Hmm. Well, it's not over here. Yeah, so where, where the hell is it then? Don't you, don't you push me, donut. Don't you bloody push me. Yeah, when I was doing this off camera, I'm pretty sure that spider was holding the egg. Deviled egg luck. Oh, leave me alone. <laughs> Stop touching me. I told you in the uh, previous video, these guys are little devils. Oh, so where, where is the bloody egg then? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I told you one of the spiders. I thought it was that spider. I didn't even know there was a second spider over here. But yeah, these spiders are basically, uh, as you can see, they're like spaghetti bolognese. See, spaghetti. It's basically a fork going through a meatball and then they've twirled up the spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti and meatballs, basically. Oh, get out, get out of the way, silly sticks. Can I just nick it or do I have to capture it? Oh no, we can steal it. Oi, 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 oi. <laughs> get off. Thank God. 
I started panicking and I thought, oh shit, maybe the uh, egg was actually somewhere else and I've just somehow bumped into it and then the spider just picked it up. Started panicking that I weren't going to be able to find it then. Your arm looks like uh, one of the donuts from uh, The Simpsons. Man, you're, you're lucky Homer ain't here because you would be in some uh, severe pain. I've cracked the Eggler shells. Oh, thank you. I know that wasn't an easy task. Ah, bug snacks are so often in the shape of unliving things, but somehow these shells are just shells. <laughs> They're also the only good source of calcium on this island. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> I'm fighting osteoporosis. Ah, <sighs> anyway, I've centered my thoughts. I want to know for myself what bug snacks are, whether they're of the mother or not. I'm going to need that big old nasty flying bug snack. Please, bring it to the box of purity when you get the chance. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember your box of puree. That's when you started secretly eating all of the bug snacks when you were pretending that you didn't eat bug snacks in the main story. Better not be doing none of that shenanigans again. Me basically collecting food for you. Alright, uh, let me check the path of this bad boy. Which way are you going? Let's see what way it's going. And What we need to do is cover one of those. Alright, looks like it's going up here. We need to cover one of those um, Mio Mochis or whatever they're bloody called. We need to cover one of those in like hot sauce. I think I might still need some hot sauce actually. Is that hot sauce over there? Ah, shit! <laughs> Have I got any hot sauce? I got six. That should be enough. Man, you need to slow down, buddy. Flip it, it's flying through the sky. Oh, there we go. Is this hot sauce? Lovely. We might need to wait for it to come back around. Is there any... Come on, I, I think this will work. So if he touches that... Yep, it worked, it worked, it worked. Quick, where's the spice? Oh crap, where's the spice at? Is there any over here? Oh crap! Oh shit. Right, he's still, he's still frosted up at the moment. Oh, there might be. Did I sort this? Yeah, I sorted the bridge out, didn't I? Shit, quick, 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 quick. I've balls this up, Wolfmore Vets, and I've got no... Uh... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, god damn it. All right, well, that definitely didn't go very well, did it? Gonna have to wait for it to come back around now. I think there might be uh, some spice inside that door over there. Yeah, actually, yeah, we can... Oh, wait, 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 wait. We can actually open up that door now. That might be a better way of doing it. <sighs> Come on, hurry up. Yeah, because I think there might be some uh, shrinking spice in there. Then we ain't got to run as far. Go. Right, let's have a look. 
Yep, there's shrink spice in there. So all we need to really do, actually thinking about it, you could um, you could also lead the uh, chicken tikka masala into the water. That might work as well. Where is it? Is it coming? Yep, it's coming back round. Okay. There's a pain in the butt in it. So basically, we're going to cover the uh, Millimoki in hot sauce, sh um, stun him, and extinguish him because he can't be on fire. Otherwise, you try and capture him, it just burns you. And then, once that's done, we are then going to shrink it. Oh, you are taking a very long time to do the whole path, ain't ya? I just like. Oh shit, that worked as well. It's probably already back in the sky, ain't it? Right, so if I quickly drop this here. Come on! Yes! There we go! <laughs> God. I, love, I love hearing their voices through the control. But um, yeah, I, I, it's probably much better to do it when it's near those mini mokis. It's much better to do it then. But that also works. But you, you can't put the sauce in the uh, water because it washes it away. So you've got to try and put it like there so they come down and just slightly touch the water. Then it extinguishes them. Okay. So that's something they could uh, like really work on in the uh, if they do make a second bug snacks. I think bug snacks did do very well. Uh, in sales and that, despite it being on PlayStation Plus on the PS5, I think it did do well. So uh, they probably will make a number two, but they can make some like certain bug snacks that just require a lot more, you know, a lot more thinking with different traps. They could have new trap types. There's a lot of stuff they could do actually. Let me just make it daytime. I've put the snack in the box. Thank you. I swear I'm not going to eat it this time. Nay, for I seek the very essence of bug snacks. That spirit which drives them to create their poisonous delights. Unfortunately, I have no grumpin' clue how to do that. You could ask Floofty. <laughs> you could ask Floofty. <gasps> Floofty? Are you out of your grumping mind? One would never consult with that wicked alchemist. What would Mother Natural do? Grow a tree. But I can't do that right now. But one must admit, when it comes to delving into the Forbidden, there is none more bold than Floofty. Oh, well, if that is how it must be, then may the mother protect me. Ah, Shelda, you seem to be dangerously close to my personal space. If you're here to trap me in a spell circle again, I will inform you that I could leave at any time and I was merely acting. <laughs> Temper your contemptuous heart. One is here on a quest for understanding, to unlock the forbidden knowledge of bug snacks. Oh. And you've come to me. Why don't you ask your mother naturally? Or Crystal, or whatever you talk to. The path is shrouded at the moment. One believes that clearing this impasse requires a more scientific lens. How interesting. Are you certain? I'm given to understand that I exude a fetid order of utter evil from every pore. You, you are reckless and arrogant and so, so rude. But one does not truly believe that you are 
evil. I don't. <laughs> well, I have little time nor patience for your games. If you want to know something, stop speaking like a horoscope and ask. Ugh. I want to know the essence of bug snacks. What is it they're made of? If I can understand that, then I might know whether they're actually separate from Mother Nature, eh? Or born from the darkness of her history. I'm not about to resolve your philosophical quandaries. There is no answer to the why of the universe. Bug snacks simply exist. However, since you've finally taken an interest in my studies, then just this once I will educate you. I can show you how to extract live snack matter for microscopic viewing without that matter denaturing. Ah, but if I were to explain it to a very small infant, denaturing is... I know what denaturing means. You do? I'm here to learn about bug snacks, not vocabulary. Aha, uh -huh. very well then. Our lesson should proceed smoothly. Step one of 17, preparing an adequate formalin solution. Thank you for encouraging this old lady to learn something new. Now you better leave us to it. I sense this may take a while. Oh, you're welcome, Shelter. Lovely. You see, though, that as you progress through the story, people are having to sort of make up with each other and start working together and stuff like that. You can see it's uh, slowly coming together. Chandler had to ask everybody for some advice when it came to helping out Snorpy and stuff like that and what you can do with Snorpy. I left my buggy ball over there, whoops. We've also uh, done some missions with Triffany. Triffany's still not really willing to uh, work with other people yet and wants to work on her own and she's left that cave uncleared at the moment and uh, Shelda's had to work with the arch nemesis Floofty. So, uh, yep, everything's coming together. Right, we'll start helping Floofty, but um, I don't know how much we're gonna get done. Maybe like a mission or two. So the next video might actually be the last one, to be honest. Look, look at flipping happy. So happy. But then when I talk to you, you look angry. <clears throat> what do you want to investigate? Look at that bow tie, god damn. That's a very snazzy bow tie. This shrinking spice intrigues me. What substance could produce such a pronounced effect on bug snacks? From what I observed, it was manufactured by ancient grumpuses, so surely it'll be simple to recreate. I doubt it. They seem pretty advanced, actually. Oh, please. Bring an ancient grumpus to the present and they'd be utterly lost. Anything they can do, I can do fundamentally better. Mm. Frivolities aside, I require a sample of shrink spice for study. Bring a specimen here and place it into my trough. <laughs> All right. Lovely. All right, let's go get a spice sample. That shouldn't take long. I think there's literally a barrel of it down here. <clears throat> here we go. I think I did it. I technically, <laughs> I technically brought the powder. Hmm. It seems this substance becomes quite volatile when removed from its origin. A flaw in its design, perhaps. How troublesome. I may need to employ a more direct method of study. By which I mean, bring another sample here and throw it at me before it combusts. Oh, we're, we're, with pleasure. <laughs> I do want to throw things at you. Yes, I'm told physical violence can be quite cathartic. Since the spice causes no apparent harm to bug snacks, I am reasonably certain that I will be fine. Yeah, I mean, you are 90% bug snack now, ain't ya? You? You're basically a giant strabby now. <laughs> I'm not going to remember why I fully transformed them. I think it might have been because uh, they kept annoying me. Oh, this should be fun. This should be very, very fun. Ah, the goggles! They do nothing! Ah. <coughs> if you couldn't tell, <laughs> that was rather unpleasant. <coughs> <clears throat> However... Having experienced that, I have learned two very important facts. 
One, the substance does not work on grumpuses. Two, I should not do that again. <laughs> I am no closer to obtaining a usable sample of shrink spice. However, I believe we may learn something from the local bug snacks. Use the shrink spice to capture one cheddar and one millimochi. Then transform me with those specimens. Why do you always want to be transformed? What's wrong with you? I mean, life as a strawberry should already be unpleasant enough as it is. <laughs> okay, what's a, what's a cheddar? Is that the, um... Is that the, uh, giant donut? How much time do I have? I've got about five minutes. I think we can probably get this done. I don't know about the Millimoki. Hey, come here, you. I think you're... <laughs> ha! Oh, there's a cheddar. Lovely. Okay. Uh. Right. So I think I think this might be something that you need to do to uh, unlock like a secret area that's not part of the uh, story. But if you come over to it, because I, I want to use this brazer because it might make things a bit easier. But if you place a uh, tripwire on here, and you light this one, and you place another one on here, and then you set fire to this. Lovely. And we can now use this brazer, hopefully, to show all God to shoot some fire at that Millimoki over there. Is there any shrink spice around here? I suppose we could probably... You know what? Let me grab some... Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this quick enough. There ain't no shrink spice around it. Oh no, there is actually. There's shrink spice over there. Okay. We, this should work then. Got some cheese over there. Oh. oh you've already, already burnt yourself, you dum dum. Right, quick, 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 quick. Oh crap. Did so I thought the game had broke. <laughs> Stupid spider. Leave my things alone. Leave it alone, you bad spider man. People already don't like spiders. Oh, you devil. And people don't like Millie Mokies either. Go away, go away. Man. I like how they love me. I'm not even sure why they keep doing that. Right, but uh, pretty much I might as well finish doing this. <clears throat> What's going on here? Why didn't it set on fire? There we go. I'm sorry, it's not my fault. You, you walked into it. Oh crap. <laughs> All right, and now I think we need to light the main campfire. I don't think we can finish it yet. I think we need another ability first, but I think this. Yep, and then we can light this, and we should open up a door. Let's have a look in here. Yep, there we go, a key. A strange triangular key. What sort of space might this open? Right, well we won't do that, we'll do that in the next video. Once we finish with like the main story of this area, then we will do it. 
I'm not actually 100% sure where I'm supposed to use this key, but for those of you that want to know, um, somewhere, I can't remember where, there is a little like platform, like a little uh, triangle on the floor, like a purple triangle, and you use the key on it. And that's basically uh, the secret area, and I think there's a, a, a bug snack in there that you can find. I mean, it shouldn't be too hard to find. This area isn't that big. But I'm going to have to end the video now, Wolf Wolf X. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, Wolf Wolf X. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today.